Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Theo here. Today we are going to install this Megan Racing header onto my E46 M3. This is a long project, so let's get started. Perfect. The reason I decided to install the Megan Racing header onto my car is simply the fact that i want my car to be a bit louder now when i purchased this car it came with an aftermarket cutback exhaust and it seems like one of the previous owner also changed the section one and added a bunch of uh, resonators in there to kind of muffle the raspy sound that comes from the s54 from factory now I want to make the car loud without also bringing raspy you know cd into the car that's why i decided to just go ahead and change my header with this megan racing header now if you don't know about megan racing header those are pretty much the same header that active auto work you know makes but for a cheaper price it's the same casing same everything it's just that this one has a megan racing logo instead of an active auto work logo so that's kind of why i decided to do this project now i also went ahead and purchased pretty much everything new that will be uh, needed to complete this job i have new uh, stud for the header bolt i have new gasket all those things it's good to purchase them new so that if you have to kind of remove this again in the future you do not have any issues because this one right here is with 147,000 miles and probably we might have a few challenges with some bold so without further ado let's go ahead and uh get started also make sure that before we do anything that you hit that subscribe and also hit the like because this channel is amazing i have great content and if you browse the channel you will see i have content about this that car and a lot of other cars i've had in the past so without further ado let's go ahead and get started on this project I'm going to make this video in two parts. Part one is going to be the removal of everything, including the headers, and part two will be pretty much reassembling with a new header installation and assembling everything back and testing, you know, the car and seeing how she sounds. Now, the first step is really to remove the negative terminal here on the battery. So to do that, you need to remove that 10 millimeter bolt. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. The next step will be normally to remove the strut brace from factory. On factory, you have two 13 millimeter bolt on this end and two 13 millimeter bolt on that end. But because I don't have a factory uh, strut here brace, I have to remove with the eight millimeter hex. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, remove this strut brace right here. Next, we have to remove this cabin air filter cover. To do that, you simply turn these things right here. It's three of them they have little springs as you can see you remove that and once that is off you can easily remove the cover by pulling you can put that to the side like that and also remove your cabin filter like that mine looks pretty good because um, it was replaced recently so i can place it right here and next you have these bolt right here that you have to remove this at t30 and it's four of them so let me go ahead and remove that then i'm going to pull this whole assembly out and also unclip these cables uh, this cover hiding these cables and then show you the next step now that all of that is out of the way we have to remove this right here remove that right there that's going to my oil catch can and if if i see that this uh, positive line it's uh, actually on the way i might actually also remove it by popping this cover actually how do i pop that cover uh, like this and then removing this ball this is a 19 millimeter but i'm not sure if i want to remove this yet because uh, i will see if this line is kind of like on the way because i just don't want to remove things that i don't have to remove but for sure i have to remove these two then i also have to remove this 10 millimeter bolt remove the cap to remove this uh, vanity cover right here now that we are here we have to remove this o2 sensor cable connector bracket so to do that you see these little things right here these you simply pinch them and pull like that and you do the same thing on this end you pinch and pull now it's pretty much going to 
show you all the O2 cables and make sure that you mark each of them before you unplug and there are two also right there because it's very important if you when you put in the new header if you put the wrong cable on the wrong spot you might actually even uh, cause a lot of issues on your engine so it's important to mark everything properly so I'm gonna go ahead and mark all my cables unplug them and put this one to the side once you remove everything out here this is kind of how it should look my EGM connector broke so I left it in there and I'm just gonna hope that I can unclip that from the connector on the downpipe uh, uh, later on now the next thing that I have to do is literally unclip this like this to disconnect it from this coolant tank remove these two 10 millimeters unclip this right here unclip the same holes on this end right there and pull this secondary air pump there is a connector on the bottom right there this connector right here we also have to unclip that and that will secure this out once we remove this out the next step will be literally to unclipping this here and then i will have a bunch of coolant that's going to spill and trying to block this by putting something here to block you know a lot more coolant to fall on the floor and then uh, remove this tank placing it on the safe location right there that's what i'm going to do right now now that all this area is clear i kind of already see that i have more access and this is pretty much i put this rubber piece here just to kind of help me stop uh, coolant from going too much but um if we if coolant is coming out it's really not going to stop anything but it's just to kind of cover so that a little excess doesn't come off now while i was removing the little cable that was here somehow i broke it so here it is right here that's the cable that's supposed to go here as you can see this piece is broken so when i put it back i'm gonna macgyver my way by kind of placing out this other end in there just like i did here because i see it fits and hoping that it kind of just work i might have to cut this to like a short cable or whatnot but i will worry about that whenever i'm placing everything back now that we have to what we have to do next is pretty much remove this one right here and this one right here and that's a 10 millimeter that will free this piece out i was able to remove that easily and somehow it came out with a stud as you can see right here came out with a stud so when i put it back i have to kind of screw it the same way so what i have to do next is simply remove the shield now covering the header now these boards is four of them one two three and the fourth one all the way down there and then here on the bottom you have the bottom shade and it has three 10 millimeters it's one right there two right here and the third one on the right there so i have to remove all of them once i do that i will be able to remove the shield the shield is off and now we can finally see the header you can see right here this literally is the header and that's what i'm trying to replace so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to soak all the header bolts using pb blaster let it sit overnight so that uh tomorrow when i come back to continue this job hopefully you know it will be easy for me to actually unscrew all of those i also let this open i'm gonna find another piece of uh rubber put it there so that it's kind of like close and nothing goes in there to the system so let me go ahead and soak this with pb blaster and then come back on day number two this is day two things that we have to do now is simply jack up the car put it because i'm some jam stand or ramps like i have right here and remove this cover is bunch of 16s remove this top cover you don't have to remove the last cover so what we want because we're going to be working under here and accessing the headers from the top because there are a few bolts that we have to remove from the bottom because you cannot just access them from the top and also we are going to remove section one so let me go ahead and remove this cover right here and that one right there so it's bunch of eight right there these bolts are like 16 and these ones are 10 millimeters what we have to do now is simply use a 17 millimeter remove this EGM that's the cable that broke on the top here remember I showed that earlier and then we have to come on this end remove this this is a 14 on the other end is a E12 remove that to start removing this part these are the resonators that a previous owner installed and this piece right here also 
as you can see that piece right there that's what's muffling the sound really and eliminating the rasp that I have that I don't have on my car and then to remove this section one you also have to use 13 millimeter on this end and then 12 on the other side where the socket is so I'm gonna go ahead and remove this section one and also remove this EGT port right there and then with that all this section will be down then I can start removing the board for the headers that you can see on top right there now that you have removed section one you can go ahead and remove the 18 11 millimeters bolt securing the header now I have one more bolt stuck there on my section one because I have a custom made section one and then any tool that I have it's not able to fit in there I'm not even sure how they mounted that maybe they mounted that with um, the whole exhaust as a one piece so for now um, I'm just gonna remove the header and hoping that once the header drops because I remove everything else that will help me to kind of remove that bolt because everything will be hanging a little further down but for now I want to go ahead and remove all these 18 bolts now there are some bolts that you will be able to remove from the top some that you have to remove from the bottom my guess is use a quarter inch uh, ratchet with pair with an 11 millimeter to kind of remove that so I'm going to go ahead and remove these and then uh, show you my headers once they are out at last i was able to remove my headers here are the headers right there and this is my section one so this is the bolt that was stuck you can see i have these two from factory you don't have this this is just a straight pipe from factory this pipe but the, any previous owner i uh, think they welded these things right here as you can see that's what made this job so complicated because any tool that I had, you can see I stripped this bolt. Any tool that I had here, we're not able to actually come and get a grip here so I can remove this bolt right here. Now that it's out, I'm going to try my best to remove it. And I have a replacement bolt for all of this, so I don't really care. Now, I'm actually debating if I should be looking for a factory section one to replace with this or continue to rock this because I don't know how I'm going to do to place this one back. But for now, this is... Uh, my header and once you remove the header this is pretty much what you left with all this empty space here so i have to go ahead and i have an extra job here i have to clean up all that area i have to remove all these studs because i have a different ones that i'm going to install to replace this the one from the n54 engine so i have a lot of work so this is the end of part one on part two i'm pretty much going to go ahead and show you how i do the clean up and install everything back up Thank you for watching and stay tuned for part two of this video. This is day two, so part two will be, I will shoot that tomorrow on day three. Thank you and be blessed.